school will be back in session this fall at Gordon Parks Elementary. A judge ruled today the charter school can stay open. Teachers and community supporters celebrated at a news conference late this afternoon. The state voted to revoke the charter, citing consistently low test scores. But teachers and staff told the judge on Friday these children have to overcome unusually difficult social challenges. Sister Verda Saylor with Operation Breakthrough rejoiced at today's decision. We are very glad that the school is making it because they serve a lot of our children and we just need to worry about these kids and provide for them, not try and cut services for them. And why in the world this ever happened, I don't know, but we're very lucky that we won and our children won, which is much more important than us winning. Now, families and teachers fought to keep that school open. They are passionate that Gordon Parks is good for students. Amy Holly is live at the school with reaction. Well, Gordon Parks will open as soon as tomorrow for enrollment for parents, and everybody's very excited about this decision. So, again, they're going to be opening for enrollment as soon as tomorrow to meet that August 21st open deadline. And they've lost a whole lot of teachers, though, and students who had to make other plans because they just didn't know what was going to go on. But, you know, really here at this school, this is a group that knows little other than uphill battles, especially for one passionate teacher I talked to today who's walked in these kids' shoes. She she says the judge's decision today gives these kids a chance they may not get anywhere else. They see a girl. Six year old Robert couldn't read a year ago, but today, thanks to his passionate Gordon Parks kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Grove, he reads simple books with ease. And his mom says he's come home with big words, too. The other day, he told my son, he said, Well, you have the opportunity to do that as well. And I thought, Wow, he's using big words. That means you have a chance to do something. It's what Mrs. Grove told Robert and his classmates every single day last year. And today, she says, They're coming back to us. They all have another chance. The state was going to throw our students away like they were nothing. Just like the way she was once treated in school. She said their first grade teacher told her she couldn't learn because she was black. Have you ever been looked at? Like you're nobody. And when I got my diploma from the University of Kansas, I went to that first grade teacher. I knocked on her door and I told her, I am somebody. It's about someone saying, I care enough about you to make you the best that you can be. It's about choices, it's about an opportunity. Gives new meaning to the word opportunity, wouldn't you say? Well, she says that she called all of her students that were expected in class this next year, and guess what? They are all coming back to Mrs. Grove's class. Are you surprised when you see how much passion she has? Again, the school will open August 21st. Enrollment starts tomorrow. It will be open August 21st for kindergarten through second graders. In Kansas City, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.